What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I have a video that I am so excited for today that actually took me like nine bajillion years to actually finally film, but at least I've tried the products for you. So today we have, wait, I didn't say it. So welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this channel is a little bit about adventure, a little bit about athletic apparel, but a lot about awesome. So today we are going to be doing a Sarah's Day times White Fox Boutique athletic apparel review. So this is going to be the 101 Daydreamers collection and I only have three pieces from it. Um, they will be restocking. I, I don't know exactly when. I think hopefully in May is what she said. They will be stocking both of her collections so I don't have anything from the first. I would like to grab something when that comes back out but right now I have just 101 Daydreamers. And so I wanted to talk about that. So what we will be talking about today is the sports bra, which this is $42 and 56 cents in US dollars because it is also an Australian company. Um, and I got this in a small. I have the sweet and sassy leggings that I got and these are $56.76 US dollars and I also got these in a small. And then we have the 101 Daydreamer leggings that are $63.86 and I also got these in a small. So just to start off, I wasn't sure if I was going to like this pattern. Like I wasn't 100% sold on it. I was like, eh, it's okay, like it's not great, but I ended up getting it and I really do actually like it. So this is a full length legging. Since I'm only 5'4", it does fit full length. Um, it has a waistband and it has like inside the waistband, it has this drawstring. Um, my complaint with that would be the drawstring kind of like just shifts from like up and down because it's not sewn in place or has its own spot. And so the drawstring just flows around. But I do like that it's there um, because you can kind of tighten it, you can tie it, they don't fall down. Um, but these leggings, my biggest worry was that they were not going to be squat proof. And let me tell you, they're not squat proof. So that's just slightly disappointing. I wish they were maybe thicker or double lined or something so that they were squat proof. Um, because that just kind of like, I don't know. I just don't like leggings that aren't squat, squat proof because that either means I have to wear something long that covers my butt. Um, or just walk around the entire day being like really cautious of what I'm doing. Um, but these leggings, they have four stripes on the bottom. It's kind of like a light pink and a apricot, I believe. Um, and they're made of like, can you hear that squeak? <laughs> they're made of like a rubbery material. I wasn't too sure about this. Like I wasn't sure how this was going to do. Um, it does kind of pick up little, little hairs or little um, dust mites, but overall it like hasn't caused a problem with me. Um, these leggings are super cute, super functional. They're very light, um, but they, I worry that when I'm putting them on, um, that they're going to like get a rip in them or they're going to get a run, um, because they are like a super, like just kind of thin material. It's not super thick. Um, it just doesn't feel as sturdy as I would like it to be. Um, and so I'm worried that they're going to like rip when I put them on. They do also seem to run like slightly small. I would say I'm someone that's between sizes and I ended up getting these in a small and they're just, they're not so small that I can't wear them, but they are just so small that I have to be like aware of what I'm doing. Overall, like it is a great pant. It is pretty high quality. I just wish it was thicker and squat proof. And that's my biggest complaint. There is no camel toe with these and they're just a super cute design. So I do suggest these, um, but probably I would probably suggest these leggings more than the others. These it's like, it's really interesting because I put these on and like, it seemed like these leggings, which I think are made out of the same material are like the most squat proof black leggings I have and maybe I was just like delusional the day I like checked that but they're like the most squat proof black leggings I've ever seen like they don't have the like I don't know maybe I'm going crazy but they're the same design um 
Both of the leggings have the SD times WFA, White Fox Active, on the back. Um, so it's just really cute, subtle branding, which I like. I don't like large branding. Um, but these have the stripes on the bottom too. It's in apricot and black on this one. And then it's got the cute um, little 101 Daydreamers design on the bottom. And I like these because they're unique. And they're not like totally in your face, but they get that little pop of like, ooh, look at me. Um, but these also say listen to your body on the right leg, I believe. Yeah. So on the right leg, it says listen to your body on one of those stripes. And I just think that's a really cute detail. Um, and I truly believe in that saying, listen to your body, treat your body well. And so that's like the main reason I got these is because of that. They have a sports bra that goes with it that I think is super cute, but I didn't end up getting that. I kind of wish I would, but overall, yeah, the same with these, no camel toe, very flattering. These ones are squat proof. Overall, like I don't have any complaints with these except for I wish the drawstring would like stay in place. Um, and I do think they're a little between sizes. They don't, they're not like the softest leggings I've ever had in the world. They're not like the most high quality. I would say these are 56. Um, I would say these are probably a $56 legging. Like, like they, they fit in that range. Um, they're not severely overpriced, but I do think, I do wish like the quality was just slightly better. Um, but overall, like I, I do love these leggings and I think like I suggest them to anyone. Now let's move on to the sports bra. So this is what the back looks like. Super cute, like super functional. I got a size small because I am not large in the chest area. I usually get smalls in all of my tops and this is tiny, like so tiny. Like, I can't wear it for anything, and that's super disappointing to me. And I've tried it with the pads, and I've tried it without the pads. And the pads are actually push-up pads, so I don't know if you can see this. But they're, like, super thick in the bottom right here, and so they're, like, push-up pads. Um, but, like, I can't wear this. I, like, I can't wear it to the gym. It wouldn't do anything. And then if I wear it during the day, I have to have something over it because it ends up, like, everything ends up falling out and I'm not a large person so that's just kind of disappointing and then I couldn't return it because I didn't want to have to pay for shipping back to Australia so I just kind of was like eh whatever so the I, and I don't I can't even point out exactly what the issue is the waistband the waistband doesn't seem too small but like maybe it is that it's too small around my waist which then just pulls everything down um but, like, I'll watch Sarah's day wearing this, and, like, I just don't understand how she's covered and how it stays up. Because mine just doesn't stay up. It ends up just, like, folding over at each other, which ends up making this smaller and smaller, and it just slides down. Um, the straps, the straps don't seem to be, like, the highest quality, but, like, I've never had any issues. If you have, like, really, really large breastuses, it might be an issue. Like, they're not super high quality they're just kind of like stitched once but like the design is super cute and I think I would maybe be more like excited about the product if it fit but like I wear small in all tops like I've ever gotten so I don't understand why this is the one that doesn't fit so that's a little disappointing definitely size up if you don't know what your size is because this was just like way too small like can't wear it to the gym can't really wear it anywhere unless I want to pull it up every literally like two minutes so here's what the top looks like when I originally put it on these do have the pads in currently and while like it looks like it fits and it looks like it would stay up throughout the day it just kind of like ends up bunching down here at the bottom and ends up like I don't know that's how like it ends up just being too small and these slide and stuff comes out and just can't wear it anywhere so that's like my biggest disappointment here is the sports bra with the pads taken out um the same thing still happens and so it's just disappointing because if it stayed like this all day like I would have no problem but it just it ends up just squeezing and scrunching down here and so like that's just super disappointing here's what the back looks like it's super cute it's just like 
The straps aren't super sturdy. I don't know if even if I sized up if it would make a difference. It may just be like the design of the sports bra. Um, I'm not entirely sure. But it's just kind of disappointing because it is like super cute and it's super cute on other people. So it may just be my body. Who knows? Um, but like I support White Fox. If you have not been on White Fox's website, like they have the cutest clothes on the face of the earth. Like the cutest clothes and so much of it too. Like anyone could find anything that they like on there. So that's super awesome. But yeah. If you guys have, I will probably be getting more activewear when the restock comes around because I love the designs of like her first line. So I will probably be doing that and if you want to see that video, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Um, if you want to see any other types of videos, let me know in the comments too because I'm happy to do whatever you guys want me to do. And if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. and. Don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully you are having an awesome week and an awesome day, and I will see you next time. Toodles!